Good afternoon to you. I am Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics. It is Wednesday now, the 10th day of August 2022. And this tweet here from Kaylin says it all. 97L, for all intents and purposes, isn't going to develop too many negative factors out there. Dry air, shear, low instability. What does that part mean? Well, it's the uh, ability of the atmosphere to produce convection is a simple way to put it. Not a lot of deep thunderstorms, and without deep thunderstorms, you can't lower the air pressure in the surrounding environment, thus pulling in more air and keeping the engine going. The engine hasn't even been built yet, so there you have it. Probably not going to see anything coming from 97L. All right, so eh, kind of going over the same info here, but here it is from the NHC's perspective. 20% chance of development over the next couple of days, uh, probably around that much, 20 to 30% chance really over the next five days. The energy from the system, the tropical wave, will traverse the Atlantic and really not do much, it does appear. Satellite animation in the eastern Pacific, things are still pretty busy out here. Lots of rising motion, lots of instability, lots of thunderstorms, and very little in the way of wind shear. So the eastern Pacific, as you are well aware, has been very, very busy. Nothing really uh, out there right now to be concerned with in terms of any impacts to land masses but it does look that this area will remain busy for the foreseeable future. And then eventually, the favorability should slide over into the Atlantic Basin. We still have about 10 days or so to go until the traditional flip. And I'm telling you, it can almost flip overnight sometimes. It's pretty remarkable. There's a reason behind why climatology is what it is. But for now, the Atlantic Basin, generally nice and quiet. There's 97L out there. Again, a pretty solid area of energy, some moisture with it. It gave it a shot, but conditions out in the deep tropics, not very favorable. And I do want to caution you that when these systems don't develop out in the eastern Atlantic, sometimes that energy, maybe it splits off and it can end up in the western part of the Atlantic Basin, let's say west of 70 degrees longitude, and then it can develop. We think about Katrina in 2005. Now that was a, a very different season overall, but Katrina didn't start as a powerful hurricane out in the deep tropics. It got its start where? Right off the coast of Miami and Fort Lauderdale in the Northwest Bahamas. The whole life cycle of Katrina, just as an example, was about five days. So they don't have to start in the deep tropics to become big problems. I think we most, most of us know that by now, but just want to remind you of it. All right, the vorticity signature, I always like to look at this, kind of looking under the hood of what's going on with the cloud cover. Not much out there. There's a little bit of energy spin in the atmosphere, if you will, associated with 97L right here. But other than that, things generally quiet. A little bit of energy over there in the eastern Pacific, as I talked about before. And it looks like that'll keep cranking out storm after storm for the next several days at least. All right, finishing up today's update, here is the GFS for what it's worth. It's been overdoing 97L, so I really don't know what model to trust right now. The Euro... You know, remember back when we had Bonnie? The Euro was pretty aggressive with Bonnie. The GFS wasn't. It took Bonnie all the way over to the Western Caribbean. You know, those two models, they're supposed to be the tops in the world, the GFS and the ECMWF, but they've both been kind of strange this year. So we'll see. We'll see how things play out, especially once we do get a bona fide name storm and eventually a hurricane. You know it's going to happen uh, sooner rather than later, I'm sure. And uh, we'll see how the models perform. But right now, the GFS and its ensembles really overdid it for 97L, which, you know, hey, whatever. At least things are staying quiet and we don't have to worry about any tropical activity right now with everything else that we've got going on in the world. At least no worries from the Atlantic Basin for the time being. All right, that is it for me for today. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. Again, I'm Mark Suddeth. Thanks for tuning in to What's Up in the Tropics. I'll be back with another update for you tomorrow morning.